If we look closely at NASA's mission plans, one circumstance in particular stands out. The latest probes are to explore the planet Venus, and the long-announced Neptune mission has been canceled indefinitely. But why did NASA really cancel this mission? And what are its plans? We show you pictures of Neptune that you've never seen before and explain why it's a mistake not to investigate this planet. Why now suddenly Venus? Before we show you why Neptune is the more important target, let's take a moment to look at our neighboring planet, Venus. For decades, it was Venus, who NASA showed very little interest. Too expensive, too uninteresting, too toxic were the statements. Venus is very easy to reach from Earth, but since the Russians, hardly any probe has visited Earth's harsh sister. With their Venera probes, the Russians wrote space history. After that, the planet was considered largely explored and uninteresting. Temperatures and pressures destroyed landers within minutes, and an orbiter seemed equally unattractive, since no one expected to discover anything important in the atmosphere or on the surface of Venus. That changed abruptly three years ago when a biosignature was discovered in the gases that envelop the planet. Monophosphane is found on Earth only as a metabolic product of microbes. The rare gas was discovered through radio scans of the planet's atmosphere. This involves using a radio telescope to measure the wavelengths of all the gases and particles present. Each gas has its own signature and can be reliably detected over distances of thousands of miles. So does this mean that there are simple life forms in Venus's atmosphere or on its surface? Exactly this question NASA would like to pursue now, and for it, it has even canceled the Neptune program and equally called upon two new Venus probes. This is frustrating for all those who think that the search for extraterrestrial life on Neptune is at least as promising. The least explored celestial body in the solar system. Neptune, the blue planet that makes its rounds around the sun 2.8 billion miles away in space, is the least explored planet in the entire solar system. In the 1980s, Voyager 2 snapped the first true color detailed images of the blue planet. The color intensity of Neptune is truly a marvel. Considering that there is hardly any light at these latitudes of the solar system, it's truly a mysterious play of colors. The light comes about when the sparse sunlight hits Neptune's atmosphere. Large amounts of the gas methane completely absorb the red light spectrum and scatter the blue light. Still, Voyager's fascinating images could only scratch the surface of the planet. To this day, Neptune is full of mysteries for which scientists have no explanation. Neptune appeared only very late on the map of astronomers. In ancient times, there are said to have been people who knew that there were eight to nine major planets in the system but the existence of the blue ice giant was not proven for sure till the 19th century. Galileo Galilei spotted Neptune twice in 1612 against the background of Jupiter's moons, but thought the planet was a faint star. The legendary astronomer could not even imagine that there could be another large planet so far away from Earth. Neptune was finally discovered by chance. In 1846, Uranus had completed its first revolution around the Sun since its discovery. The French astronomer, Urban Le Verrier, found something strange about the orbit of Uranus and concluded that there was another massive celestial body. Le Verrier set to work on the calculations, and a few months later, he presented the possible location of a new planet to his colleagues. However, they did not take him seriously. But shortly after, astronomers from the University of Berlin were able to prove that Le Verrier was right, and they were also the first to see Neptune with their own eyes. At first, the new planet was to be named after its discoverer, but then the astronomers decided together to continue naming it using figures from the Roman world of gods, and this planet was to be named after the Roman god of the sea. Despite the knowledge of the sure existence of the planet, nobody saw details of the surface until August 1989 when the Voyager probe passed by. Actually, at such a great distance from the Sun, scientists expected to see nothing special. Theories described Neptune as a sluggishly rotating ball of ice. When, besides the fantastic blue color, 
a surprisingly active world with hurricanes, huge clouds, and large dark spots became visible. The astonishment was great and the curiosity of international planetary scientists increased. For a long time, it was believed that Neptune was the last planet in the solar system where violent forces were responsible for weather and climate-like phenomena. Jupiter's storms are legendary. If we look at Saturn, on the other hand, it radiates an almost inanimate aura and is quite similar with Uranus. From the planet Uranus, radiating in a pale green-white, a similar monotonous tone went out, as from its neighbor Saturn. And like its namesake, wildly seething and active Neptune didn't fit into the picture of astronomers for a long time, and for these peculiarities, there could be truly reasons that are fantastic. Neptune with moons and weather Voyager 2 photographed five moons of Neptune during its flyby and showed that, like Jupiter, the ice giant has rings. Although these are extremely fine and cannot be seen with the naked eye, researchers still want to know everything about the ring system. Only since Voyager, no probe has seen more of Neptune. So the joy was great when NASA announced the mission, and then the disappointment was great when they canceled it again. Some consolation was provided by 2022 images from the James Webb Telescope. On fine spectrometer analyses, other even finer dust lanes became visible in the addition to the fine rings of ice, and it became clear that Neptune's ring system is similarly complex to Saturn's. As wonderful as this new insight was, frustration remained at how disastrously little was known about this distant and mysterious world at the edge of the solar system and the cancellation of NASA's mission to Neptune may have been a big mistake. Where does Neptune really come from? Not only the newly discovered ring system puzzles researchers. Calculations and the observations of Voyager showed that Neptune should not be on this place in the solar system at all. Its size, its composition, and its current orbit did not make sense in the course of reconstructions of the history of the formation of our solar system. Neptune has a mass of about 17 times the mass of the Earth. About one-fifth of the mass is attributed to the presumed silicate nickel-iron core. Thus, a rocky planet is hidden in the interior of different gas layers, which is only somewhat larger than our Earth. For a long time, Neptune was thought to have a similar structure to Jupiter, but at the same time, Jupiter is 318 times more massive than Earth, and thus, 18 times heavier than Neptune. Initially, astronomers saw nothing unusual about it. Jupiter formed in the middle part of the protoplanetary disk, which was rich in light gases, and the farther away from the Sun, the less material is required. Accordingly, Saturn weighs as much as 95 Earths, and Uranus weighs as much as 14.5 Earths. But this is exactly where scientists got wise. It didn't make sense for Neptune, which is two and a half times farther away than Jupiter and significantly heavier than a previous planet. It is formed in the outer reaches of the solar system, and it should be at least twice as light as Uranus. Therefore, more and more planetary scientists are leaning toward a theory that Neptune must have formed much closer to the Sun, possibly near Saturn's current orbit. By some gravitational exceptionalism, Neptune slipped to the very end of the line of major planets in the system. It's possible this incident is a gravitational showdown between Uranus and Neptune. As a result, it could eject Neptune completely out of the solar system in a distant future. What consequences this could have for the stability of the orbits of the inner planets is so far difficult to foresee. But there is another fantastic theory about where Neptune really came from. Is Neptune an alien world? The showdown between Uranus and Neptune could explain why both planets show significant irregularities in their orbits. Some researchers therefore suspect the existence of another planet, which practically tugs at these two. Since nobody could find the alleged planet X so far, researchers looked for further explanations for the orbital deviations of Uranus and Neptune. Model calculations revealed the gravitational dance of the two ice giants will either lead to the fact that both will exchange their places again, or one of the two will be pushed out of the solar system completely. 
which of the two this could be, is so far unknown. Neptune could be in this way a masterless planet, which wanders by consequence in interstellar space until it's caught by the gravity of another star. There are some highly interesting theories that Neptune may have once been just that. Neptune could have come from outside our solar system. Then it got captured, sat in its place in one of the back rows, but somehow it doesn't fit there. We now know of hundreds if not thousands of vagabond planets that have been flung out of their systems. Imagine that Neptune once originated on a completely different world, many thousands of light years away from us, and may have been an exoplanet there with simple life forms. If one follows these theories, the planet could be a carrier of extraterrestrial structures and perhaps even life forms. One clue is said to be the mysterious Great Dark Spot photographed by Voyager in 1989. The anomaly on the surface of the ice giant was larger than Earth, and scientists were eager to finally take a closer look at it with the planned NASA probe. But that mission won't happen for another 20 or maybe 30 years now. In the late 1990s, NASA tried to unlock the mysteries of the Great Dark Spot with the Hubble Space Telescope. But Hubble found no trace of the strange formation. In 2018, Hubble discovered a new giant spot near the North Pole instead. Two years later, another smaller formation appeared, which was named Dark Spot Junior. Some scientists believe that these dark, wandering spots are nothing more than giant colonies of microbes migrating through the ice giant's atmosphere. We know the same phenomenon from bacteria that darken square miles of the Earth's seafloor. To date, researchers do not know if there is liquid water beneath Neptune's thick ice layer. So it's entirely possible that the stains are giant swarms of microbes in an ocean beneath the ice. Conservative science has yet to take this theory seriously. But what do you think? Is this a potentially momentous mistake? And would we have a better chance of finding life on Neptune than on Venus?